Hi, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago on a Columbus Day bank holiday, but not a holiday for all the commodities. Crude oil was trading today, and while it wasn't, uh, there wasn't a ton of volume, it was pretty active. Crude oil ended up about 29, 29 cents or so at about 49.58. That's a little over a half a percent higher, so that's a small rebound. And part of it was supported by a softer dollar. Softer dollar lends support to commodity prices in general. Crude oil is not immune to that. We've got a small two-day uh, sell-off in crude oil. I'm sorry, in the dollar. And crude oil took advantage of that today, along with some other factors, namely. Hurricane Nate, which became Tropical Storm Nate. The Nate damage wasn't much when it finally did make landfall. Louisiana, Mississippi, where we've got some refineries and some drilling, especially offshore drilling. Uh, Nate came in as a tropical storm and the damage was mild. So the cleanup is not going to be anywhere close to as dramatic as Harvey or Irma uh, are in their respective areas that they hit. And Nate kind of makes its way through as a tropical storm with only about 35 mile an hour winds and a ton of rain, but no salt water and the salt water damage is really what caused all the problems with Harvey. So we should see barely, barely a blip, nary a blip in refinery runs in terms of as they recover last week at about a little over 88 uh, percent as they recover back up into their 90s and then their mid 90 percent range. Now, another factor kind of making its way into crude oil markets is the administration's reconsidering of certifying the Iran nuclear deal. Now, that nuclear deal was signed uh, by the Obama, Obama administration, but it doesn't actually cancel the nuclear deal if this administration does not agree to certify it. It's part of the deal that uh, presidents were going to recertify it every year. It doesn't actually cancel the deal out if this administration doesn't certify it. It just shows a lack of endorsement and it could be uh, making its way toward canceling the deal for United States, but not certifying doesn't do it in and of itself. And this has hit the crude oil market a little bit when the news first came out with the idea that this would somehow disrupt Iranian nuclear supply. I think that's a bit of a leap for the market at this point. That would be a decent sized rally. I don't think it has much to do with today's rally. I think that's more Hurricane Nate, illiquid markets, and that small softness that we saw in the dollar. This is Bob Iaccino talking crude oil futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.